Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you guys how you can play desktop games on the extended dual monitor. First off, you need to connect your monitors to your GPU. Both of your monitors should be connected to the same GPU, otherwise it won't work. And then, open the NVIDIA control panel. If you are using AMD or any other graphics card, then open that program. The configuration process is actually similar. The configuration is going to be like this. We are actually going to make our CPU think that the both of the monitors are the same thing so that the screen resolution will be stretched out according to our monitors. With this new screen resolution, we will change the graphic settings inside the game and it will start to work like we wanted. Most of the games will automatically change their display settings when you launch them. But remember, not all the games are optimized for the dual monitor setup, especially the older games. So right now, we are going to do the configuration. Open your graphics card control panel and then click configure surround physics. And check this box which says span displays with surround and then click configure. You can actually adjust your monitor position here. It's going to be like this. It's like which monitor is in your left side and which one is in the right side. Once you've done that, you have to click the enable surround. This may not ideal for regular desktop usage, so after the gaming sessions, you have to disable the surround mode. Once you apply the settings, you have to configure the bristle correction. So it will be more realistic as some part of the game would be hidden behind the display bristle. So it will be like it's part of the game. But sometimes one of the display may not show and it will be like it's blank after applying the settings. In that case, you have to restart your PC or disable and enable the surround mode one more time. Once the configuration is done, go to the game and change the screen resolution to its maximum. And boom, you got the extended monitor gaming experience, just like you wanted. As I said it before, some of the games may not be optimized for this. And also, make sure to disable the surround after every gaming sessions, so that you will get amazing user experience. I hope this helps you guys, feel free to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.